Oopsie daisy. Anyway, this was the I live under your house game. All I know is that it's made by a dev called Spoogle McBoogle or whatever. And that's just that's just a really good name for that. Uh, oh, there we go. Main story or DLC coming soon. All right. Well, I guess we just do main story. I've got an achievement for starting the game. That's fine, I guess. Open my eyes and here I am, home again, under your house. It's such a wonderful feeling. Oh, I, oh, I forgot. We're gonna do, we're doing the channel play betting. What the fuck am I doing? All right, let's go back and do that real quick. That's your intro. You can guess how good this game is, based on that. Let's see. Let's start the prediction. <laughs> Uh, we'll do two minutes for this one. This one's probably going to be longer, I guess. The other ones were short, so we're just doing one minute. Yeah, I forgot about that for a sec. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck, the gimmick for tonight. <laughs> I went and ate a yogurt and like listened to some Yonoid 2 music and suddenly my brain reset. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's all I know about this game is the dev is named Spoogle McBoogle. And, uh, uh, I don't know, it looks like this. I think I put this, this dev had like another, yeah, yogurt just reset my brain, what the hell? <laughs> the yogurt hit different. I think he had another game on Steam that I also picked up, it, only the two he had on there, I think. And that one had like a bad rating, but this one had like all good ratings, so I'm just like, hold on, I'm gonna pick up both, fuck it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah, let me go check on Steam real quick. I think this is the one with the good rating on Steam. Yeah, this one had 32 rate or yeah, 32 ratings, 93% positive. And the other one was like, nobody bought it and it sucks shit or something. It has like three reviews. I think most of them are good, right? No, it was like pretty mixed. It looked cool though to me. Anyway. This one apparently well received, and I think it, this one came out around on Halloween. I, I want to say, yeah, which means like it did pretty decent for, yeah, on the Halloween's pretty decent for like being like the most flooded time of the year for releasing a horror game. So like, good for them. It's always a good. Uh, you can always just like bet against the odds and just be like, hey, hey, hey free money if I'm right, <laughs> or sorry, free Ted energy. This isn't for real money. You can't do that on Twitch. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> At least not anymore, I'm not sure. I don't know, I don't pay attention to that shit. Anyway, I think it's like five seconds left, right? Yeah, uh, less than that. It's over right now, actually. Alright. Is I Live Under Your House gonna be a good game or not? Only one way to find out. What is this? Oh. Yeah, cause it's kind of like a, a point and click, I think? As usual, no one. That's good. That's very good. I like being alone in my dirt tunnel under your house. This is the main hall. How nice. How nice it is here. Every time I come here, I feel joy and pride because I dug all these holes. Hmm. I don't even know which hole to go into first today. Uh, yeah, actually, that's a tough choice. Let's go in this hole. This is my sleeping place. This is where I usually sleep. Although I can sleep anywhere. I still prefer to sleep in my sleeping hole. True, I love sleeping in my sleeping hole. Oh, I can't sleep yet. Okay, my bad. Let's try this one. Every tunnel is different. For example, this one is narrower than the others. Sometimes I think I might get stuck in it. Then my heart starts beating harder. My whole body gets tense. I can't help it. I have to move slowly if I don't want to get out of it. I love this feeling. Ooh, what's this? Do I want to look? Do I want to gaze upon the root? Need to find something sharp to open it. And see who she used to be or what she has become. What the fuck? <laughs> Are they talking about this? Is this a person? What? You know, I'm out of here. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm gone. I've peeped the horror a little bit. Enemy is my pebble space, where I keep the different stones I find during my excavations. I like to look at them. To stroke them. Oh, how I like to stroke them. <laughs> Sometimes I even dream about stroking a stone, and the feeling is so real. I can feel it at the tip of my fingers. I love stone. This is just salad fingers. <laughs> Salad fingers for rocks. Hmm. Stones. I found a rock sharp enough to cut through someone's belly. Oh, that's great. What about this one? What about this one? No, okay, just that one. Alright, well, that's all we get. <laughs> I think we did all three of these, yeah? Let's go this way. I rarely go outside, especially since he's waiting for me on the way. 
There is a spirit standing right at the exit. And every time I pass by, he starts talking to me. I don't like to intercourse with him. So what now? Oh, I guess we're not doing that. Well, I'm going to bed now. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to bed. Is there something I can do here? Oh, yeah, the, the stone. Can I not pick up the stone? Give me the fucking rock. I'm not sure if I have an inventory or not, but I'm, I'm okay. Maybe we can go back there and do the thing now. I don't know. Narrow tunnel, go. Here we go. He died when I was born, or so it seemed to me. I never knew my father, and maybe a creature like me has no father at all. For as long as I can remember, I have been alone all my life. At first I just watched her body, hoping maybe something else would crawl out of it and I would have a new relative. Ever th oh god, we got the small text. <laughs> Ever this did not happen. I talked to her body from time to time out of loneliness, you know, normal things people do, like the guy from uh, Psycho or Jason Voorhees. Though I mo mooed and made different sounds rather than spoke, I had to eat its various parts because I was hungry. I am so grateful to her. If not for her sacrifice, I would have died. Okay, cool, cool gamer. Over time, I began to notice that her body was crusting over, and the places I had been were getting scared. Uh, do you, they're, they're getting scared? What? I think you meant scarred, but I remember. I realized that she was still alive, so I started eating her body more carefully, trying not to take too big of a bite. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Layer after layer of her body grew to a kind of crust, eventually forming a cocoon through which I could no longer penetrate. I don't know how much time has passed since then, but I waited and waited long enough for something to happen. But nothing happened! The pity she never saw what a beautiful creature I had become, or how many tunnels I'd dug. Well, no, I'm sure I'm all alone in the world. I'm tired of worrying about her. I'm tired, I guess. Can I... Oh, the remnants of the creature. I came out of... <laughs> Ideas for a Mother Day card. Congratulations on being the creature I came out of. <laughs> Fucked up. Or that it would come out of the cocoon and want to eat me or avenge all my bites, but apparently I just decided to die quietly. Now my anxiety was gone. What a lovely game so far. <laughs> what a great experience. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. They're laughing at me! <laughs> Every night when I try to sleep, they come to me to make fun of me. They laugh. They have so much fun when I cry. They watch during the day and wait for me to do something stupid. Looking for opportunities to make fun of me so they can come and laugh at night. Sometimes they talk to me. They whisper things. They want me to go outside. After a night of torture like this, I usually wake up tired and hungry. So I crawl outside in search of food. What the shit? Ow, my ears! The images you send the spam texture is nice. Unfortunately, those are probably all robots. What's going on outside? It won't stop. What the heck? I don't seem to have any other choice. I have to go outside and see what's going on. Can I do that? There you are. I knew you'd show up soon. It's because of those noises, isn't it? I don't want to leave my home. Hey, it'll subside on its own. Since maybe they came to take your home. Maybe they came for you. Who knows what's making those awful noises? You must come out. Okay, so I'm out. Then what? You know what's next. The same thing you always do. The thing you do when you're hungry. What makes your breathing quicken and your whole body tingle? It's time to go outside again. As soon as I crawled out in the open air, a disgusting sight came into view. There were metal creatures everywhere, and horrible-looking structures stood before my eyes. I had no specific plan of action, but one thing was obvious to me. There was construction going on in there, building right over my head, and something has to be done about it. There were too many people around, and I couldn't act in out in the open. I had to wait for the right moment. I started watching. You vile creatures will pay for your disturbing my peace. 
Oh, there's one right there. Yep. Yeah, bees, bees, bees. What should I do with you? Pesky bee. I have to be careful. If they find me, it's all gone. But I can't do nothing either. My strength is not to deal with only one of them. And if you kill one, the hunger's getting stronger and stronger. No strength to hold back. Something has to be done. Oh shit, kill her spare. <laughs> Uh, Alright, this is literally just Bioshock. X, Y. <laughs> X to kill, Y to spare. I don't know. I think I think we just give in to the hunger. That seems like the good option here. Chat demands death too. I was also th thinking kill, so like, I wasn't even going to ask you. I'm just like, kill. <laughs> yum, yum, yummy bee. This is my skull room. <laughs> After the first time I ate a human... I lay tired outside and didn't even have the energy to crawl back home. The very first one I had was some guy sitting in the woods drinking beer and talking to himself. Oh yeah, so this isn't even like the first time he'd done this. So this is just like... Anyway, I have a skull room. <laughs> first, I didn't want to do anything to him. I was interested in watching him. When he noticed me, he started laughing out loud and pointing his finger. Then he suddenly picked a stick and started hitting me with it. When it was over, I lay there for a long time, looking at his skull. Over time, I've accumulated so many skulls that sometimes I burrow inside this pile and gradually fall asleep. Uh, I too sleep in my skull pile at home. What about you, chat? Worker's skull. Another skull from my skull collection. I have absolutely no memory of how it all happened. It's like I'm in a wild ecstasy and then it's all over. My stomach is full, my breathing is heavy, and I want to sleep. Anyway, eventually the house was finished. Oh, you just took out one guy and then the rest, or I guess the two guys downstairs or something. Different people began to come and go from the house. The unbearable stomping was causing me to have anxiety attacks with every knock. Or in your skull pile right now, nice. What if they find me? What if it never ends and I have to move somewhere else? Where would I go? I don't have the energy to dig new tunnels. From time to time, I had to crawl out to see if everything was okay. They were looking for me. For some reason, I had distinct feeling that they had come to hunt me down. I thought he was just checking up on them, saying, hey, you guys having a good time here? You making pizza? Can I get a slice? None of that? All right, shit. One day, people came in and dragged a huge number of boxes. A woman in a blue dress yelled at them and waved their hands. Then everyone left, but the woman stayed in the house. Time passed and no one else came to the house. It was just this woman. She doesn't look like a threat, I thought. However, pretty quickly, my life turned into a nightmare. Pretty much my entire living area was right under this house. Every action she took, every step, every sneeze echoed through the depths of my sanctuary. Her life became part of my life. Oh shit, they're married. <laughs> Gradually I got to know her schedule, what she does, how she does it. I knew all her habits, the rhythm of her gait. Oh god, the small text again. <laughs> I began to feel that my sleep was disturbed, so I couldn't sleep with something constantly pounding. Yeah, damn upstairs neighbors, I know what it is. Muttering and shuffling over my body. In a few hours when I did manage to sleep, those ghosts of the night would come back to haunt me and make fun of me. Oh yes, now they really had a lot to laugh about. Thus my torture became a 24 hour routine. I had to do something about it, at the risk of being caught, the risk of losing my home. Who am I kidding? I don't have a home anymore. She took it from me. I must get out and stop this nightmare. Chapter- oh, chapter one, love. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> A thrill of excitement overwhelms me. I no longer have the strength to hold back and watch from the sidelines. It's time to find out who lives above me. Right, let's just head on in there. I need to look around carefully before I act. Oh shit. Gameplay. Holy shit. I forgot this one also had 3D gameplay in it. It wasn't just uh, visual novel bullshit. It was like, oh, or point click. This is the first time I've ever been inside a human house. There is so much. There is so much space. It makes me sick. The thing worse than this is outdoors. Got that little agoraphobia going on, I guess. Hmm. A book. I can't read. Oh shit. I know what it is. It's called a book. See, I'm right. I got it. Wow. Crazy. Once upon a time, I was very hungry, and just at that moment, a little man sat down next to the entrance of my home. Remember, he had a little hands, little feet, and he was like a puppet. That little man also had a bag with him. I remember being aware of all the dangers. 
This world at the time. So I climbed out of my hiding place with interest and began to look at him. The little man didn't notice me right away. When he did see me, his eyes widened and his mouth opened in that unimaginable way. It made a horrible, disgusting sound. Eee! That sound was driving me crazy. I wanted to get closer to him, but he kept crawling further and further away from me. Eventually, the feeling came over me. Then all I remember was his head in my hands. His body was lying somewhere nearby. His bag he had brought with him was slightly torn, and then I saw books scattered around. I don't know why they caught my eye, but then I took them with me. They tasted poorly. You know what was he going to say? Many pages were badly damaged and stained with blood. Some pages were missing altogether. That didn't stop me. I began to study them. And it was thanks to these books that I was able to learn the language of these creatures and get some idea of the human world. He just learned English by reading one fucking storybook. <laughs> he read like the Hungry Caterpillar and he's like, Oh yeah, language, I understand now. <laughs> what the hell? I found new books over time. For example, recently when I ate a couple of campers, I enjoy reading. I have to remember to pick up this book when I'm all done. Oh yeah, television. <laughs> they call this the pain box. Don't you get one of these? I'm not familiar with human life, but I once saw construction workers staring into a smaller dark box, or a similar dark box. They started, or they stared so intently and sometimes shouted something and raised their hands in the air. Strange creatures. Haha, uh -huh, sport. Well, I'm, I'm, up, I'm on the couch. I'm not allowed to be up here, but I'm getting my dirty little monster paws on your couch. Oh, this thing is so soft and comfortable. It's like earth after rain, but it's still better in the hole. Yeah, this is, the couch isn't as good as the hole. If you're on a couch right now, I'm sorry, dig a hole. It's way better. Way better than your puny, pathetic couch. I'm making, like... Weird footstep sounds, I think. Whatever. My creepy mole hands. I'm like a mole man or something. What a horrible, terrifying sound. I have to deal with that thing. It scares me. Imagine you're at a house you live in by yourself and the toilet downstairs just fucking flushes on its own. No pets, no nothing. That should be the scariest shit, I'm pretty sure. Be like, who the fuck flushed my toilet? Who took a shit in my house? Oh, jeez. I remember people lug lugging these boxes in here. Wonder what's in them. Open the box. Shoes. These are all shoes. I don't know what the rest of the, these are weird boxes actually. Hmm. Yeah, I want to see what we look like too. Especially after seeing what the, our horrible imagi imaginary monsters are. That's it. There she is, laying in front of me. All it's up to do is take the first step. But I don't dare. Why? Something is wrong. My mood's not the same. I don't feel the same rush of energy and unbearable restraint as before. Well, maybe I should come back later. Apparently, now is not the right time. Yeah, I should definitely keep an eye on her. Maybe it's a trap. Well, until next time, Birdie. Right. Why couldn't I kill her? All the sounds she makes now don't seem so disgusting to me. I would even say that I became interested in hearing what she was doing. Just became a stalker, I guess. They're watering down the pipes somewhere. Here she seems to be taking things out of boxes. Huh? Wonder what she keeps in them after all. Thinking I was lying in her door... I felt something strange, something I never had before, toward another living creature. So I took a look at the pile of skulls, and I want to take some of my best skulls, my dearest one, and take it to her. <laughs> Leave it under her door, the door somewhere. <laughs> yeah, they, they love that. They're, they're, like, women are always just like, yeah, give me a, your fucking finest skull from your pile. <laughs> are we going to do that right now? Are we going to give her our best skull? Here you go. Under this door, her door, what? This game is something so far, yeah. It's leading towards a good game. Hmm. The ones might be having this. Some of the game's not over yet. It could turn to bad later on, but so far I'm liking it. It's just insane. Here, I brought you my best skull. Strange, the bed is empty. And apparently she's not in the house, either. Where could she have gone at this hour? I have to leave what I brought for her and hurry back to the window in case she comes soon. There you go. Oh, we left some uh, meat and shit on it. That's great. Also, this dude is huge. He takes up the entire hallway. What the fuck? <laughs> Whatever. 
He said the window, but like, am I just going back the way I came? I'm assuming that's what that means. Yeah, this window probably? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Here you are back again, but something is changing you. Nothing is changing me. Everything is the same as before. Isn't I thought you liked being alone. It is. I'll always be alone. I don't need anyone by my side. Why'd you hesitate when you had a chance to kill her? What are you hoping for? What do you think will happen when she sees you? The same thing that always happens. Shut up. Your mere appearance will cause her to vomit. You're different from her. Shut up, shut up, and once again, shut up three times. Or do you not think she'll move here? <laughs> Maybe, but only in pieces, right? Shut up, you vile spirit. I'll prove you wrong. I'll go back to her house right now and wait in her bedroom. <laughs> we'll go back to my place together, you understand? <laughs> Told you you've changed. Alright, I guess we're gonna go chill out in her room now. <laughs> Do you like the cool torso I left you here? A little bit of skeletonized remains? Oh shit, they're gone, what? If she's spooning the remains in the bed, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, she's cuddling the skull! No, okay. Where, where am I waiting, up here? Oh, no. Addressing Mark. Mark, who's he? The note tells him to remember to pick up the box from the nightstand that contains candles needed for... I understand, there's a lot of words I don't know. Marie, damn it, Mark, we did it. Take it to the basement. Pay attention, it's still moving. Did we just dismember it right in the basement? My whole body hurts terribly. What happened? I don't remember how it, I got here at all. Remember the note, and then, ah, it hurts. I can't remember anything. I have to go home. So I guess they laid a trap for the monster. They just knew a monster was here or some shit? Which is like, alright, whatever. They tried dismembering me, I guess? <laughs> but yeah, fair. Monster in your god dang house. I think you try to kill it or some shit, I don't know. I'm out of here, this place sucks. Betrayal, question mark? I'm so hungry, I could eat a couple campers. I'm assuming I'm going here to the glowing campsite. <laughs> yum yum, anyone in here? This is the tent of those pesky campers. They obviously shouldn't have set up camp near my place. What? They're gone. Okay, I guess they're somewhere else. Oh, over there, okay, whoops. <laughs> Maybe they ran away because, like, they didn't fucking die after they, like, dismembered the shit out of it. Which, yeah, I, I'd run away, too, if that happened. I'd be like, hey, we can't kill this thing. Let's run the fuck out of here and call the police or something. I don't know. Call some, some, Make it someone else's problem. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. Find the SCP Foundation or something. You're like, yeah, this is a big-ass monster. Get that shit out of here. Monster Trap 1299. Available at HH Greg. With the fucking Blu-ray player, whatever the hell. This backpack is remarkably similar to the one the little man had. Remember how in some fit of rage and hunger, I killed him, and books fell out of the exact same backpack. I took them, and that's how I learned how to understand the language of humans. Yeah, we already got that backstory, my guy, but alright. What's going on here? We having a dream? Oh shit, that way, I guess. Hmm. We left one skeletonized torso, and you're like, oh, there's a thing keep le keeps leaving it here? No, that's one time. Take it easy. It won't be long before I'm home again. Just keep following the glowing orbs. Yeah, we got Mega Lost. <laughs> Is that something? Hold up. There's the campsite, but, like, I don't know where I'm headed to. I guess I'm wandering and hoping I run into something. Dang. 
did not want that to happen. Like, it, it led me around with the weird, like, glowing things, and just for what? For this? Just to go nowhere? Or can I go through this? I guess I can. They want me to feel lost. They're succeeding. I'm fucking lost. Oh, never mind. Can't go that way. And I can't move very quickly. I think, is strafing faster very slightly? I think it is. I think you can strafe in this. Okay, except yeah, if they want me to feel lost, congrats, you've done it. Uh, move on. <laughs> Thank you. Or is that a thing I can interact with? Hold up. No, it's just the thing turned over. Hmm. Faster, but I can't see where I'm going, which is like, yeah, that sucks. Okay, they drag me back here, but like, why? There's nothing else to do over here. <laughs> More trees, my favorite. Yeah, like what? What the fuck? Uh, ooh, mm, uh, hmm, hmm. Well, there's the mysterious wall of you can't pass. We found that at least, so I'm, I, there's, I'm at the edge of a map somewhere. I'm not sure where it wants me to go, though. I'm just going to wander and stumble on it and be like, wow, you felt lost, huh? You felt real lost, huh? You're a little scaredy boy, huh? Oh, there it is. Finally, there's a thing all the way over here. God damn it. Why didn't you go backwards just to have me go this way later? That's so, that's so fucking strange. Oh, boy, the summoning circle in the woods. What is it? Salt? It wasn't here before. My body feels weak and sleepy, so I think I should lie down for a while. I need to go first. Did it really work? Why is that thing still moving? Fuck, something's wrong. Mark, I told you, we should have dismembered it. At least we had a chance in the basement. Oh, they, they didn't dismember it? What? <laughs> right, whatever. You know, it wouldn't help anyway. It can only be killed through a ritual. That's what the book said. My whole body feels as if it was weightless. I can't move. I can barely look from side to side. What's going on here? Hey, fellas, what's going on? Everything feels a little bit weird. I can't move. <laughs> Did you do something with that salt circle? That's crazy. Who's that with her? I don't remember him. What an ugly thing it is. Uh, do you think it knows what's going on? Who cares what's in that thing? Uh, understands, Mark. It killed our father. Why doesn't it die? Uh, it was worries me. Ugly. Why does she say such hurtful words? She doesn't like what I brought her? This is after all we've had? <laughs> what a fool I was. Thought we were made for each other. It seemed to me that I knew her well. That maybe somewhere deep down in her soul she guessed about my presence and was waiting for me to come. So, uh, I guess, was the construction worker her father? <laughs> I don't even know. Sure we haven't forgotten anything? Solomon's cell is holding it together, but... I don't see foam from its mouth or blue flames or anything like that. Holy shit, Mark, you asking me for that? I'm asking you, you have the book. That's what I thought would happen someday. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I should really die. What should? Why should I live when she treats me like that? I feel something new again, as if a thousand needles were tearing from me from the inside. Oh shit, Mark, I get it, we forgot. Don't tell me. We forgot the fucking candles, Mark. Fucking candles. I think my strength is coming back to me. Huh, I can move again. That's how it is. She wanted to get rid of me all this time. Well, you know, you've brought me a lot of new sensations, feelings that I haven't experienced before. Now, after everything that happened, I'm so tired and I'm really hungry. <laughs> you insult monster. <laughs> I want to take you out to dinner. Wait, wait. <laughs> Uh, Mark, I think it's going to break out. Now it's your turn to come to my house. <laughs> Oops. Revelation. In the end, Marie is just another skull in my skull collection. From then on, the voices never ceased. They began to follow me during the day. The laughter never ended, but it didn't annoy me. I finally found the meaning of my existence and began to laugh with these bizarre creatures of the night. He had to enjoy waiting for new uh, tenants, playing with them eventually, of course. My tunnels were discovered, but by this time I had already managed to move 
to another dwelling. Especially since my collection has grown so much. I needed more space. Also read in the newspaper after my tunnels were discovered. They found the remains of my creator there. They say they've never seen anything like this in their lives. As for Marie, I can hardly find her skull among these remains now. Not that I would like to, but I am grateful to her. After her betrayal, I realized my place in the world, and now I work non-stop. Oh shit. I get tired, I sit down and laugh non-stop while looking at my triumphant collection. Alright, ending two. Yay, we got the holy shit, it's a lot of skulls ending. I think the only thing I could... I think there's probably just one other ending, which is just do spare instead of kill, and that would, like, give me something else. Like, maybe she won't try to kill me with, like, salt or whatever. Uh, should I, should I do that again? Should I go for the other ending? Or no? Because I'm fine either way. Also, yeah, I think we're going to vote that's going to be a good game, honestly. That was pretty decent. <laughs> Had some laughs and all that. <laughs> Where's Manage Protection? Yeah. Maybe I get married? Do it? Yeah. Oh, actually, oh, we'll do the other ending first before I, before I uh, pay out the points. Let's try the other ending real quick. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speed run this shit. I need to go check out these holes. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I guess I gotta go back that way. Okay, cool. This way, that way. Is that good enough now? Can I, like... Alright, I have to go back and do the thing first. I don't know. I couldn't exactly tell what, like, progressed this section, honestly. I think I have to just, like, do everything first. I don't know. Like, what the fuck did I click on? Like... Oh, there we go. I did, I did the eyeball again. Okay, cool. I'm out of here. Should be able to sleep now, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, yeah, let's go. Construction site, blah, 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 blah. We're gonna spare them this time. Eventually, the house is finished. Different people began to come and go from the house. The unbearable stopping was causing me to have an anxiety attacks. What if they find me? What if it never ends and I have to move? Yeah, we already know this though. Blah blah blah. The entire living area was right under all this. You hear all that shit all the time. Back to chapter one. All right. Is anything else I can interact with? It's just the same shit, right? I'm just gonna go straight to uh, the bedroom. Hmm. Is it gonna play out the same? I don't think so, right? Because like. We didn't kill her father this time. I don't think, so yeah. Yeah, same, same bullshit from before. Let's get a skull from the skull pile and give it to her. Yep, that's what we're doing again. No, we totally have a skull horde. We were just there a second ago. Do the rest does the rest of the game play out different after I give her the skull is the thing because like this this plays out exactly the same. <laughs> to leave what I brought for her and hurry back to the window in case she comes soon. Okie dokie then. Hmm. Yeah, something is changing you. Yeah, nothing is changing me, blah, 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 blah. This is all the same so far. We say shut up many a time. Does it work the same way now? Or, like, is it also we're gonna get trapped again? Like, sparing them should just give us the other ending, yeah? But I guess not. We're getting kidnapped. No to dress to Mark. Damn it, Mark, we did it. Into the basement. Alright. Is it just the same? He has to go home. I guess we go out the window, maybe, not the front door. So I guess the killer spare there didn't even seem to matter. What if I just go through the window? 
Or is that not, not available to me anymore? So otherwise, how do I get the other ending? Hmm. Let's like, just like go to the bedroom or some shit. No. Hmm. This feels like it's gonna be the same ending. This is really not much different about it. I don't know. Seems weird to have it all play out the same after the kill spare thing, but in yeah. like I selected spare, right? Not kill. It seems like there's nothing I really do here. Just reminisce about. Oh, remember the time I ate those campers? Yummy. Maybe the very end is different. That's the only thing I can think of is like maybe we don't eat her or something. I don't know. So I hate when like games do like multiple endings and it's just like the same shit. I hope it just be like multiple endings and like something changes everything drastically for a while. Okay, where do I go from here? Like, I don't know. I, I found it on accident last time. The salt circle. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. It was this place exactly the same. You have to read the exact same everything. I was like, surely the only choice I had earlier with kill spare would change, like, the game drastically or some shit. Something's wrong. Yeah, you know it. My whole body feels weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't remember him. What a fool I was. Okay, we're going to eat her again or something? Forgot the candles, and then, yeah. Okay, this is the same ending. So, like, apparently Kill Spare doesn't do anything? Or is there something different here? Why am I here? Huh? Oh, this is ending one. Okay, so it's literally the exact same except for the very end. Even the voices have gone silent and are no longer laughing at me. The spirit no longer speaks to me, too. I dream only of darkness. Ever since the day I killed Mary... Marie, I've been lying next to the cocoon of my crater. I don't do anything. I just lie there and stare into the darkness. Look at my, my body, and it too is gradually crusted over. No one ever moved into Marie's house, so I could enjoy the silence. I don't need it anymore. The crust is about to cover my eyes, then I'm asleep for I don't know how long. Maybe even forever. Everything that happened to me, I understood only one thing. When I was at her bedside for the first time, when I saw her bare heel dangling from the bed- Oh, he's a fuck guy, what the fuck. I should have eaten her at that moment. Alright, so I guess that's a worse ending. I know that one was just like, wait, we're gonna be a big spooky monster and like get a bigger hole and more skulls. I don't know, that was a lamer ending, but it's still a good game, but that other ending sucked. <laughs> also, I think it's the heck same, yeah. Game good, go. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> it's the foot ending, yeah, I guess. <laughs> You've gotten the feet. Oh, we got a lot more achievements than I thought. Why are there four more locked achievements? What is this? I guess there's one for sniffing her clothes, which I didn't even know was an option. Uh, there's a newspaper article somewhere, which I didn't. I missed. There's a third ending. I don't know how to get that shit. I'm not going for. There's also a hidden achievement, which I'm gonna look up right now. What the fuck is that hidden one? Oh, there's one for like using your. Uh, your look op or like seeing all the look options or some shit. Which yeah, that was alright, but. Yeah. I don't know how they, I don't know even know what the third ending would be, if I'm being honest. Okay, I'm gonna look that up real quick. Maybe there's like a guide for it. No, maybe there's in discussions. What's the third fucking ending? Uh no. Oh, here we go. Never mind. There's a thread here. Okay, the thread was nothing. It was just like, I don't know how to get it, and then just came back and was like, ha, oh, that was easier than I thought. I got it, which is like great. They didn't tell me shit. Anyway, let's see if this... I think this is the the dev's other game he made. That's this one, right? Yes. This one's called Witness of the Night. Same game dev, but, like, uh, this one got, like, no attention on Steam, and, like, the ratings are, like, one bad, two good. So who knows? This could be decent, or it could be shit. All the characters in this game are fictional. Any coincidence with real people is accidental. Blah, 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 blah. It contains scenes... I can't skip. There we go. 
What? Oh, we, apparently it's a telescope or some shit. Anyway, let's vote for this one. This one was called uh, Witness of the Night. I guess it has to do with the telescope looking at the stars. Be it. Go. Is game gonna be good or is it gonna be shit? I'm gonna drink water and shit. Let me find out how how like long ago was it developed before the other game? Uh July of this year is when this one came out. I guess they were working on Oh, hang on. The trailer shows a gun. This one has shooting gameplay and also some other weird shit going on. This one, game is, like, almost entirely black and white from the looks of it. The other thing, I'm not sure it's for artistic reasons or anything. It just seems like it's just really dark or something. Like, physically, it's dark during a lot of it. Looks like there's, like, an Indiana Jones-ass, like, spinning saw blade in here. <laughs> I don't have to think about this one. I don't know. I think it could be good, but yeah, it has like no rating, so nobody like ever played this game. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, that's how it goes. I have to use a computer to print out images of space radiation? Oh, okay, that's what this game's about, apparently. <laughs> Horror built around the sense of a mystery, so it's like... Apparently aliens and also a weird basement, I'm not sure that's about. Well then. Oh god, I just remember what our last game's gonna be. I bought another game that's probably too long to play tonight, too, which is probably gonna be a good game, but we'll do that another time, I guess. But, uh, if we have time for another one, I have one that's probably gonna be bad. <laughs> like, I could be surprised, it could be like good Kuso, who knows. Uh, bet is done. Anyway. Let's get to it. Witness of the night. Bada bing. Ooh, the flutes. A little flutes happening. That hurt my ears. Fuck. I'm in my observatory. Please leave me be. Hello? Hey, Eddie. I know the observatory doesn't look its best, but trust me, all the coolest stuff is outside. As you know, we were recently able to pick up a new type of radiation, and the little saucers that dot the field around the observatory can pick it up. So, cool. you can use the computer on the table to find the signals. You send the data to a printer, and you get an image. Simple as that. Ooh. And the telescope. Saved. You can use it if you want but you won't see anything unusual there. Again, all the magic happens in the computer. Cool. But you still have to open the dome, find the red button, and press it. It might squeak a little bit, but don't be frightened. I know what you're thinking right now. None of this sounds very high tech. But look, I put all this together in three months. It doesn't get any better than this. You poured concrete you for this dome in three months. We had when we went to college together. So don't complain. Everything will work out. Oh, I think Lucy's crying. Mike, calm the baby down. <laughs> Fucking shit, Mike. Uh, get on it. I have to do everything myself. All right, I'll have to go, Eddie. Mike, what are you doing? Mike, what the fuck? God, Mike, please. Anyway, I'm gonna open the dome. Hello? Oh, there we go. It's doing a thing, right? It's just taking forever. Oh, okay, it's working. It was I didn't see anything, so it was just like, what's what's taking so long? It's huge, just like give it a sec, frick. Mike is tunneling under the house right now. No that would imply that the tunneling creature got like a wife or whatever, but no. Not even close. Both endings so far, you eat her skull. Or you eat all of her, then, like, put her skull in the skull pile. You can't even find her anymore. Alright, so, uh, red square, no radiation found. Green square, radiation somewhere nearby. I don't, like, change the spot. Okay, hold up. 
How do I change where we're scanning here? Oh, this, I have to click on this, don't I? Okay, that's what I gotta do. Oh god, this is really slow, but whatever, scan. Just go up a bunch. Oh, there's a red right there. Okay, well. Collect the data. You go to the printer to do that or some shit? What would I do here? Was I moving around on the main screen? What? All right, whatever. This is a little janky release. Okay, can I not collect the data? Collect that data. All right, there we go. My eardrums, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Send a print. Oh, there's no options for sound, so I can turn it down if it gets too loud again. I guess I don't know. Yep, that looks like uh, looks like stars out there. We got the Hubble telescope here, whatever the fuck. We got the James Webb scope, I guess. Saved every fucking second. Saved. <laughs> All right, are we just gonna keep doing this, or I, I guess. Saved. Oh wait, what do you mean red square? Red square is a lie, but alright, shit. Saved. Eh. Show me the cool space photo already. No. It's red, so I'm gonna scan, but like, no, that's a lie. I think it's like weird mouse acceleration or some shit. I'm not sure what the hell's going on in that. Oh! A thing! Collect that data. Here we go. <laughs> I like the weird, like, movie music going on, too. It's a nice little ear massage, yeah, I guess. Hmm, yep, that's a space whale, all right. I always knew it. Knew they're out there. Saved, by the way. I'm gonna search this in the most inefficient pattern possible. I'm gonna go... <laughs> just make, like, a loop down here, and then I don't know. Actually, we can do that. Fuck it. Oh, that was close, actually. Nice. What's this, what's this one gonna look like? Haha, <laughs> brains. Space brains. Huh? Oh, we're still going, alright, shit. Uh, yeah, what? Did you see the space brains? Eddie? How are you doing in there? The baby won't stop crying. So I don't think I'll get much sleep tonight, either. By the way, I got the first data. And it's weird. Well, that's to be expected from unknown radiation. Isn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, okay. I'm going to go calm Lucy down. Keep up the good work. You're doing great. This could have been an email. Alright, sure, whatever. What the fuck? I was busy scanning and you're just like calling me for no reason. <laughs> ah, found it. I found a thingy. Hello? There we go. Frick, well, let me collect the data. So far, it's kind of like Iron Lung, I guess, but not quite. I know from the trailer, this is going to be the whole game. This is just the big intro. What the fuck? That's me! What? Huh? That's just a picture of where I'm at. Whoa! I can't move. Bah? Great, I'm gonna keep doing my job. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's one. Great. Just keep going down. Mm, nice rumble in my eardrum. Is that just a guy screaming with like a bunch of fucking Photoshop filters put over it? <laughs> it looks like they just like spammed a filter for like a billion times. Just keep spamming it, trust me, it'll look cool. <laughs> what? Oh, huh, hello. Hey, yeah, I saw the data. I don't get it either. Maybe I miscalculated? Look, this is gonna sound weird, but Mike. He's been sitting on the porch, looking up at the sky. God for damn it, Mike! Okay, sorry. We're all tired here. I'm sorry it's all nonsense. I shouldn't have told you about it. I'm sure it's fine. Keep exploring. This could have been an email again! Also, thank you for the raid. I also appreciate Bunston. We were playing a game about space, so we might be able to find Bunston out there in amongst all these all this data here. Scientists have been trying for years to find where the frick Bunston is. We could be the first one to find it. Did you know any Starfy runs or just uh, played Star Fox? Bunston, my beloved. <laughs> Alright, let me get up here. Scan! We found a bunch of red dots, and we're not finding anything. So where the intro to this game is weird. I, I played this dev's other game on Steam where they, uh... We were a monster out of the house that was basically an insult monster or something. <laughs> it was really fucking weird. It was a, it was a funny time. You got a three minute PV while wow, the 156 or whatever. That's cool. What? Starfish just like your star. You do a little twirl. Bunsen's in it. He's a great. He carries the game. I don't know. He's always on your screen, just shaking and being a cool fella. Damn, there's nothing here. It looked like it was a combo of like Kirby and Warrior Land from the looks of it. Somewhere along those lines. I'm not finding nothing out here. What the heck? Oh, I, I, I hit it directly. Great. <laughs> you, know, you know the space place? It's just, it's just full of a lot of nothing. Like, what the hell's that about? They gotta put more stuff in space. Like, frick. <laughs> it's just a lot. It's all empty. <laughs> oh, what the hell's this? <laughs> Before my fascination with cosmos, like all teenagers, I explored the world around me. Especially, I loved abandoned buildings. Maybe I was living too quietly, or maybe I was looking for tranquility inside these dilapidated corridors. That's a really weird thing to get from scanning space. What's going on here? What? Game froze? <laughs> what? 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 Fifteen years ago. Okay. That's my sprint meter. Okay, gotcha. Already saw that. Saved, by the way. So far, this game is nothing but the word saved appearing on my screen a billion times in a row. Uh, and yeah, there's spooky sounds happening. <laughs> now, when you abandon your building, leave behind weird chairs. Homeless people, students, and Satanists are the new regular visitors of the abandoned hospital. Construction of the hospital began in the 90s has been delayed due. Over the past years, six teenagers have died. In the past years, six teenagers have died from falling down elevator shafts or holes in the floor. Also reported that the teens were all fans of the new Japanese animated show called Spikes of Evil. Speku no Evilu, or I don't know what you'd fucking call it. it, contains many elements of violence as well as suicide theme, and concerned parents are very demanding that the show be banned from television. Ooh. It's not an easy task to dismantle the building either. The heating system is connected to the local school, so even- what the fuck? Even though this hospital's not too complicated, the pipes in the basement of the building are still functional. Uh, why- why would that be a thing? Uh, it seems really weird. Oh yeah, we hooked up our heating system to the hospital too. We're double dipping on that shit. Is there, is there an abandoned hospital like right next to a school? They're just like, hey kids, don't go to the abandoned hospital right there. The one that's like three feet away. Don't do it. It's deadly and it's right there and nobody's guarding it. You could just go in there. Oh, is that the, the kanji for that basically? Or not the kanji, uh, whatever the fuck. The Japanese for it. <laughs> spikes of evil. Something no spiku, yeah. There we go. Aku no spiku, yeah, there we go. 
Locals say they hear some evil howls and find dead animals in the area, but that there was no confirmation of this information. I was, like, sideways for a second there. What the fuck? Yeah, this is the part of the game that's black and white, I guess. It'd be dark in here. Yo, garbage? Hell yeah. It probably would have been cool art, too, if you could, like, you know, see it. But black and white for this section, because it's in the past. Everyone knows the past was always in black and white. They didn't have color back then, 15 years ago. In 2007. I'm gonna fall through this hole in the floor. Never mind. Not allowed. Game said no. Oh shit, the toilet room? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. This is a magical, mystical place. A place of porcelain. If I was in an abandoned building and I just saw like a bunch of toilets arranged like that, I'd either run instantly or I'd be like, I don't know, enthralled, just like enticed with it. Just, I don't know what the fucking word is. Uh, I'd be confused. <laughs> I'd just be like, what the fuck is this? Who stole all these Home Depot toilets and arranged them like this? I'd be kind of hyped, honestly. You'd <laughs> be like, oh shit. Was conducting toilet rituals here. Oh, no. I'm sick and tired of these bums and teenagers. As soon as it gets a little colder outside, they're all drawn like a magnet to our basement. No, there's shitting in there. They shit. The capital T in this game is weird, by the way. Bill, I'm a security guard, not a janitor, so I thought I'd install the door to make it key to the administration. Isn't going to do anything about it. So I did, except I lost the key, and guess what, Bill? I don't care! I've had enough, I'm quitting. Not only do people come in here taking a shit, but they kill themselves every week, and I find the body of another teenager dumps down the elevator shaft. You take care of it, Bill. Ciao, bye, adios, see ya, and whatever the hell the frickin' VTuber in the Pokemon game said. I gotta find the key somewhere in here. Which, that sucks. <laughs> it's a needle in a rubble stack, actually. Which, yeah, that fucking blows. That's what we gotta do here. Uh, the janitor lost the- or, sorry, the security guard lost the key somewhere. And then quit his fucking job because, honestly, yeah, guarding an abandoned building probably really fucking sucks. <laughs> Gotta be, like, bottom five, uh, worst job. This would be, like, so boring all the time. Oh, okay, the toilet room has a note. Let's read it. That security guard is such a jerk. The other day, me and Bobby broke into the old hospital. You know, the one in the news. The local security guard caught us and took all our money. Oh, he robbed them? Oh, fuck. Actually, I kind of like the security guard now. No wonder he quit. If I don't quit, they're going to know about my petty crimes I've committed. <laughs> what an asshole. But I managed to get in again, and then I went down to the basement and dumped a huge pile of it right in the floor. <laughs> all right. And guess what? I took a shit and spread it all over the pipes, and the pipes are hot, you know. The shit's probably fried. I can't even imagine what the smell was like the next day. Okay, this guy sucks so hard now. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick up my shit and spread it everywhere. Yeah, that's a normal thing to do. Great, you really showed him. Wow, you owned him so hard. You definitely aren't a depraved fucking lunatic. Hope the security guard has to clean it up for a week. No, nobody will clean that shit. This building's abandoned. They're not even gonna go down there. He, that's why he put the lock on the door and whatnot. <laughs> Poop killer for it. Oh boy. And yeah, Starfy was Japan only until the DS1 and then the series ended or something, which is unfortunate. Don't know what that's about. Oh, hang on. Is there a key on this toilet? No. Since it's black and white, it's going to be really hard to tell where the key is when I eventually do find it. This is just, like, in a corner somewhere. It's like, hey, look, a light shaft pointing to a key. Wow, that's so convenient. <laughs> that's not it. That's a bottle of, like... I don't know. Random malt liquor, maybe... Something else, who knows. Oh, hi. Normal stuff. All right, uh, was that a teddy bear or a doll? It's impossible to know what will happen after death. Well, I know exactly what will happen. They'll blame violent movies, games, anime, and they'll blame all the media around them. How come a successful girl, the darling of the whole school, an excellent student, did this to herself? She must have been watching too much anime. Happens every time. Well, I'll leave the precise and clear note to make it clear to all you jerks. It's your fault. You're the ones who never heard me. You're the ones who were inattentive. You're the ones incapable of understanding other people's feelings. You, you, all of you. I hate you all. I wrote that and it made me feel better. I wonder what mom made for dinner tonight. <laughs> Alright, sure. 
Anyway. Abandoned building. <laughs> abandoned world. I go into abandoned buildings and the graffiti abandoned building on the wall. <laughs> I'm a rebel. Ban anime. No. They got to you too. Big cartoon is out there trying to ban all the anime. Okay, let's go in the basement. Sure. I didn't kick that, but the game did that on purpose. Uh, I'm not. I haven't been keeping track. Okay, so the first game was good. So I, okay, I'm gonna go through. Hold up, really quick. Let me think. All right, the two games from Itch.io were both good. Uh, one was from Johnny's Games, always makes good shit. The other one was a weird one that was less of a horror game and more of a game that was like, uh, you have to like kill five like supernatural beings, and you have like this like right click to dash really fast. It was it was like unlimited dash. So you could just like spam right click and go like you could fucking schmoove. It was fun. Except for the last level where, like, you either go up, which means your movement kind of sucked. And the building was on fire the whole time you had to go up, so, uh... You kind of... I kind of just died a lot, but it was still fun. All the ending sucked. And what else did we do? And we played a game that was, like, a free game on Steam that was, like, kind of like Resident Evil or some shit. Uh, it was just pretty much find a key in the basement. Okay, you can lock a door in the attic. Find, find a key in the attic. You can lock a door in the basement. So just walk up and down from the basement back and forth. Then it had some really funny deaths when enemies showed up because it was just like, it would just kill me in like, like, like I don't know, five frames or some shit. It'd be like, oh no, a monster. <laughs> Snaps neck and you just, it'd be like game over after like a second <laughs> or like half a second. It was pretty great. If nobody clipped that shit, I'm going to clip that shit. It was funny as hell. <laughs> uh, after that, we played like a thing that was kind of like the Dread X collection. Oh, that, that, that ended up getting a bad game vote. So, so too bad or too good, one bad. We played a collection of games that was like a bunch of bad ones and good ones combined. I think it was end up being like it was seven games end up being I think three good, four bad. So what's that count? Like five good and then five bad. Then we played another good game, which is by this the game that made this game, which was like part point and click, part visual novel, part like a little bit of three D like this. And it was like yeah, we were like a monster living under someone's house, and we were like an incel or some shit. We we're just like. Oh boy, I love my- I sure do love my pile of skulls and all that shit. <laughs> what, what's this funny feeling inside? Why do I like this lady or whatever? It was like- it was, it was kind of funny. It was a good time. Saved, by the way, yet again. Here's the key, they left it on this chair downstairs. Anyway, yeah, I guess we have the key to that door, so mission accomplished. So yeah, six good, five bad. It's actually been a pretty even spread so far. This one is still kind of early to tell. We were just doing that, like, scanning radiation part for the most part, which I think you came in on. I want to say you guys were there for that. Okay, how, how do I get back to the... the room? Also, someone's whispering things. Do I see what? No. Be specific. Okay, bye. Oh, bye. Well, where's that door? I'm going down there. <laughs> How do I get back there? Jesus Christ. This counts sploosh kaboom. Here you go, found the door. I thought the whole door was going to lift upwards for a second. I was like, excuse me. There was one that was weird. ASMR, I think. It was literally supposed to be like an audio-based game with like weird QTEs. It had no checkpoints, so I quit it. I liked what it was doing, but it just, like, uh, didn't work out in the end. It one of the games in that seven game pack. Oh, somebody's dragging her body, and by that I mean nothing was dragging her, and it looked really fucking awkward, but alright. <laughs> they improved their animations and voice acting and everything in the second game. Yeah, type hide, and I typed hood instead and died instantly. <laughs> Well, no, there's no one over there, so that was all in my in my brain. I imagined all that. That's imaginary blood I'm walking through. Good stuff. Should we go further into hell? Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, also that one game, I forgot to mention about that Resident Evil type game, the free one. Uh, it, it had fixed camera angles, but you used your mouse to turn and like... Wasp, like, was doing strafing and shit. It wasn't tank control, so it was just, like, the actual worst. Like, I would try to, like, turn somewhere, and I just, my guy would just, like, flip in every direction, and I'd get killed by monsters all the fucking time, because I can't, like, do movement on the fly. 
don't know why the music's doing that, like, but... Like, I ain't running or nothing. It's closed. Unless, unless I see a spooky monster, like, up my ass, I ain't, I ain't running. If I do, I'll be sure to be like, ah, 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 or whatever I do when I see a spooky thing happen. That darn steam. Dang you, Gab N. Okay, where am I headed here? Oh, I forgot the heating system. They mentioned this. This is where that guy smeared shit all over the pipes. Also, this really leaky heating system down here. I'm sure they don't want to fix that, huh? Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! My future is gone? What just happened? I went flying forward. Okay, can we checkpoint it there at least? That's something. I think I touched a steam. I'm gonna go this way instead. Whatever the hell I was doing. I dropped out of high school. Uh, my future was ruined, true. All right, a note. I'm sick of it. I hate this job. It's like everything here is made by idiots. Even our locker. Why is it in the basement? Why is it at the end of the basement? By the time you get to it, you'll burn yourself on some pipes, or God forbid, the pipes will burst and you'll be boiled alive. I know why it's done that way. So we have to go down to the basement. Because no sane person would come down here on their own. To hell with a couple more days here. I'll be sure to quit. Why wait, though? That's it. I'm leaving. You're the key to the second exit and getting my stuff. I'm done. By the way, I didn't want to say, but... Since I don't have to work here anymore, anyways, there's something sinister here, Bill. Maybe it killed all those teenagers. Oh, jeez. Okay, so where's that? Oh, there's a key. Oh, God, how do I get to that fucking door? I was just there. I... Ah! Ah! Okay, hug me. Did I die? Okay, that killed me, I guess. <laughs> I like the noise it made, so I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. This <laughs> is... How do I get out of here? Oh shit, it just floats. It has no animation. Oh, I have to like watch my sprint meter too. This sucks. Oh fuck, I touched the... <laughs> oh god. Where am I? Why am I being screeched? What? Did we loop? No, no way! No fucking way! <laughs> it actually auto saved when I died! <laughs> wow, it actually. There's a checkpoint in the middle of that chase. I they didn't turn them off on the way back. <laughs> Alright, one more for the road. <laughs> in the middle of dying. Like, okay, so when you die in this mo this part of the game, you fly f the fuck forward. So I flew through the checkpoint like near the end of my death animation. So, like, uh, we soft lugged. I think that game gets a bad vote because of this. <laughs> That's even possible. Yeah, we're, we're, that's definitely getting uh, choose outcome bad. <laughs> wait, was that, was that, wait, hold up. 5% to 95? Oh, big payout for every bet 60 channel points, I guess. <laughs> Damn, there we go. Should have bet more. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to play the whole game again. I don't want to do that whole uh, bullshit, I don't think. Cause it, hang, on, oh, hang on. Hold up. I'm going to test my theory. If I go back in and select continue, will it put me back at that point where I just soft locked at it? <laughs> I, I gotta I gotta see I gotta know. I have to know before I move on. I gotta find out. <laughs> so I guess it's six good and six bad games. Yeah, continue, please tell me it puts me that's Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding stuff. Oh I should have hit retry. What I did what I hit to retry. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, they, they weren't okay. The second game worked out better. That first game has a major soft lock issue. <laughs> I think I have to refund that because of that. Three.